so today is sea day and we have another towel animal <laughs> so first up let's get some breakfast and we are going to go over like a highlight of today because i didn't record everything so first up we went to um trivia i don't think this is the first stop but we went to trivia it was a sports trivia super fun it was for my husband because i know nothing about sports <laughs> mr october who is known as mr october The sports trivia was a lot of fun when i tell you there's so much stuff to do on this ship look at this there's a whole poop party going on as well <laughs> And of course, we were eating, eating. We're always eating. <laughs> when I said this cruise, we were eating, eating, relaxing, relaxing, eating, eating, relaxing. But there was so much activities to do. And that's one thing that we wanted to do was actually enjoy the ship. The last time we went on the horizon, we didn't get a chance to do any much much ship activities because we had so much excursion, which we spent off the, off the ship. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> My baby loves sports, so I joined him watching the championship game, and that was a lot of fun. This was actually at the Pig and Anchor, so that was pretty cool that he showed the game there. Awesome! This is the 11th floor, and then I promise you, going down the stairs is easy, but climbing up it is hard. I am out of breath. Y'all can hear me struggling to breathe, but I was determined not to take the, el the elevators throughout the whole cruise because I ate a lot, and those stairs were cardio. <laughs> Go up. And if you notice, there's no 13th floor. Haha. Bad omen. 14th floor. Hey, 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 hey. When I tell you watching these clips back, it's like, oh, take me back, take me back. But it was a party. This was an all white party. Uh, everybody dressed in white. It was lit. Hey, take me back, party. I remember when I went on the horizon, I was out like at 9 p.m. every night. So, like, all these activities I missed. Because all the excursions, you get tired, the sun draining on your mind. I was determined to stay up for these parties, this, this cruise time. There's an itty bitty kid in the middle, right? You can't even see him because he's so short. There's a little kid in there tearing it up. Like, go little boy, go little boy. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out. Yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt. Why aren't there any clips of me dancing? Because I'm the camera person. <laughs> I'm sure if you watch everybody else's vlogs and videos, because there's a lot of cameras there, you probably see me on somebody else's vlog. But this was the sweetest. Look at this. Congratulations, you guys. Woo! Isn't it so amazing how a ship full of strangers are so genuinely happy for these young couple? Oh, congratulations, you guys, and best of luck. You guys got this. Woo! 
they even had Family Feud, guys. You guys can sign up for Family Feud. Um, there was no filming inside the actual gaming, so no footage of that. Here we are at another club. This was like 11, 11.30 at night. I don't know. It's all a blur now. <laughs> And a lot of the dances were age appropriate. So like even on, on the ship, on the pool deck area, there was age appropriate dance. And a lot of times as parents, you get to be concerned about that. So I, I would say a lot of the parents are mindful of that. Inside this club though, you have to be over 18. So if you're under 18, then there are certain things that like even the comedy club, they say you have to be over 18 where it may be inappropriate. So they let you know if your kids can be there or not. But it was a, it was a night. <laughs> the next day good morning aruba we are here we are here look at that beautiful blue oh turquoise ocean look at that so this is my balcony view good morning <laughs> Look at that beautiful water. So the island is on the other side, so you can't see it on this side. Oh, how pretty. So one of the things that you can do is if you don't have any um, cruises, not cruises, any excursions booked or anything like that, you can just search free things to do in Aruba or you can just search excursions or things to do in Aruba. We weren't interested in doing too much thing. Like I said, we have so much to do on the ship. And uh, one of the things that we did search in advance was the beach. <laughs> to um what was the name of this beach again es eagle. oh eagle i don't know i gotta say esmeralda eagles beach and here we are pulling up and then all the taxis are there it looks like a about 10 minute ride from the port and then once you are done you can come back to here for the um taxis and it'll take you back to the ship or wherever you want to go and we're actually here until 9.30, so well on the island till 9.30. All right, let's go to the beach and take a look, see what Aruba got to offer. We are in Aruba. White sand beaches. They actually speak four languages on this island. English, Spanish, Dutch, and they have their dialect. I forgot what it's called, but it's pretty much a mixture of um, broken English, Spanish, and Dutch together. That's their local dialect. So we are about to jump in the water. I got my snorkeling gear. So I'm gonna jump in and have fun, guys.
Oh, and all the beaches are public in Aruba. There's no paid beach. The sand is so soft. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> the water is so pretty. It's already deeper already out there, but it's that far from um shore. I know that's already deep. <laughs> Okay, we're going under the water. Going under the water. <laughs> huh? I don't want to hold it. This is for me to be hands free. I put my stuff on. Oh, we're still not under the water yet. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> okay. One. One, two. <laughs> So he was actually saying that I do not need to put my phone in the case to be able to film on the water because I have a Samsung Galaxy and with the Samsung Galaxy you can film on the water. Um, it is a waterproof phone so you're fine. The thing is I have that blue lanyard and I have it in there this way I can have my hands free and not having to hold the phone the entire time so if I want to let it go I can without worrying about it. So that's why I had it in the case. The only drawback is you see how blurry it is on the water. If I didn't have it in the case, you can see the fishes right there. You can barely see them. So if I didn't have it in the case, you'd been able to see the fish a lot more clearer. But it was in a plastic case, which um, it was actually at the beginning. I'll insert a picture of it here. But this is me trying to touch the fishes. Y'all don't mind me. <laughs> but yeah, even the watch, um, it's a Samsung watch as well. That one is waterproof. Like later on, I'll show you how you eject the water from because it, it does get water in it. But um, they have a swim lock on it. So you just press the button and it ejects any water that gets trapped inside. Yes, technology. I keep telling my kids, when I was y'all age, I didn't have all this stuff. Like technology is taking over, y'all. <laughs> but this was fun. OMG, oh my gosh, I love this man. This year is actually going to be 20 years since we've been together. That's amazing. Um, so there was actually some water sports activities going on and we live in Florida. So, you know, we've done this, the, the jet skis, we've done all that. And I've been cruising before, so I did the the underwater helmet walks. So if you have um, your, on your excursion, you want to do an excursion, that one, I, I really like it. It's like a helmet you have on your head and you get to walk under the water and there's a hose attached to the helmet up to the air to give you oxygen. If you're claustrophobic, you will feel a bit claustrophobic because a helmet around your head and then you're going underwater so you do feel a bit of a compression there. But I really love that. I've done that on another, um, it was on a private cruise I went on and that was a lot of fun. I really like that. So that's one I would recommend to do. Otherwise, you can do your, your um, snorkeling, your underwater glass bottom and your jet skis and any water additional water activities or land tours that you like to do um this just us just this just us love being in the water right now and let me tell you something if you guys are watching this video you're most likely tr planning a cruise trip so that means you may have had kids or you've had had kids in the past so you may be able to relate to this but we have at home still we have five kids but four of them are still at home the youngest one is four. We've been going on cruises, <laughs> not cruises, we've been going to beaches pretty much. Oh, oh look at the boat. They got an, an, another cruise ship there that was pulling up into the um, port. But yeah, so we've been going on cruises, on cruises. I, we've been going to beaches with kids. 
for almost all of our lives with kids and we have to literally watch them make sure they're not drowning make sure they're okay in the water so it's a lot difficult when you go to the water with as a family mom and dad doesn't really get to have fun we're busy being lifeguards making sure everybody's fed and you know we get in the water play with them but it's not really the same so this is me showing the, the um the lock on the watch to prevent the water from getting in. but anyways so today was a lot of fun because we get to literally swim around just have a good time and not worry about any children and we get to actually swim and these face masks that we got you can get them on amazon and i think i search scuba mask with snorkel or snorkel mask or something like that well you can get check on amazon it pretty much lets you breathe without, without having to worry about um spin the water out and the holes and all that so every your whole face is covered and it was pretty cool like i really felt i felt like a mermaid like look i can swim without needing to come up for air so that was pretty cool <laughs> it does look, look like aliens but <laughs> the the you see the holes is at, at the top so it pretty much stays above the water the one thing is you can't dive with it because if you dive under the water the water is going to get in the holes which kind of defeats the purpose and then you get water in your mouth and nose but see look at that I'm officially a mermaid and I spent the whole time without touching the bottom of the ground so in the pool you sink a lot faster in the ocean you're more buoyant so the the ocean water definitely and I haven't been in the ocean in a while I've been taking the kids to the pool so you definitely feel a difference if you normally swim in the pool than the ocean the ocean you're more buoyant Oh, that's two carnival ships. There's another one behind it. I think that's MSC. Yeah, so another one just came in 30 minutes ago. That's the one that we saw, yeah. There's not big in there, so it's huge. So this one is short, that celebrity? Yes. And of course, there was a free shuttle. It would take you to downtown. You are in this port until 9.30 p.m., either 9 or 9.30 p.m. So, of course, you can go downtown, enjoy the local um, clubs, bars. We were in the water for a very long time, so that was a lot. So, we, we came back aboard a ship because we had to get food. And there was a lot of activities on the ship, like I said, guys. But we had a lot of fun on, on land. Aruba, the beach was beautiful. I am Jamaican, so yes, you guys live up to the island, sand, island, beach vibe. So, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Aruba! That's good. Better than pig and anchor. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like this one is too. This is really good. Oh, that's not zucchini? Oh, it might be. That was zucchini. <laughs> Cucumber? I never seen cook. They do? Hmm. It's the best meal we've had on the ship so far. This it's is really good. shebang. Really, really good. Can you replicate it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's either a Chinese or or a Mexican <laughs> way of cooking cucumbers. Get two just to get the full taste. 
Let me rinse my mug. So you get the full taste. This is so good. good. Mango strawberry. So I see a lot of people say they don't like the straw. My husband doesn't like the straw. It is actually candy. It's a, this one is a lime flavored straw. As you can see, I got a fruity drink. So I'm sure you're not surprised that I love the straw. <laughs> so you can choose different flavors you want. As you can see, this is one of our favorite restaurants so far. It's called Chibang. So it's like a Chinese Mexican mashup. So cheap bang. So we really liked it. And the food is really good, guys. Mosaro. Wait, ginger? It is. I thought it was something else you got. Yeah, it got ginger and sorrow. Mosaro with ginger in it. It has ginger ice. You never had it before. And chocolate together, they're so good. And my husband doesn't like ginger, so he's over there. Nobody likes ginger. <laughs> <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Even if you look at ginger in person, it looks weird. Just <laughs> elsewhere. Like something that will throw away in the garbage. It's so funny. Nothing aesthetically pleasing. It's a root. Okay, thank you, bro. It's a healthy root. <laughs> Huh? It's like turmeric. It's a healthy root. I should have left more space in my dessert. I don't like, normally let like the dessert just go. More space. Mm -hmm. The next day. Alright, so after the day, we are in Bonaire. So I just got a little white dress on because it is hot. So, you know, white for the heat. ABC Island and the B stands for Bonaire. <laughs> Hi. Look at that. So pretty. So this is a Dutch island. They do speak Dutch and Portuguese and Spanish and English and French. And they have the same dialect as um as Aruba. Listen guys, I was swimming yesterday and my whole body is hurting right now. I'm in see you guys. That smell good? Oh, that's it. The wind smells good. Now what wind? <laughs> it's videos. I have a lot of videos. I have <laughs> It's probably be all swagged out. We were on the Dutch side of the island. Oh, you can't even see this way. Oh, the sun's so harsh. It's cool. You don't feel like a whole breeze. You guys think? Bummed. 
dia. Let's speak Portuguese here. Bom dia. Say bom dia. Bom dia. <laughs> bom dia. We are on. We're in Bonaire. Look at that beautiful water. Look at those architecture. I'm all sore from yesterday because I was swimming like a mermaid. Now I can barely walk. I know that like, this is the definition of turquoise water. Look, turquoise water. Probably down there. I see white sand. No blinds. May that be sand. Turn to the side of the shoes. Okay, so the next two minutes is inside the kids game room or like teenagers because it's ages 12 to 14 so it's a it's a not a game room, it's an arcade room <laughs> so it's for ages like 12 to 14 they have prizes got a ps5 xbox they have prizes that you can win so this is a quick look in here it smelled really good in there and, and like i said like a lot of times you go into game areas or arcade and they're a bit, you know with kids especially little kids they pee and stuff like that so it smells like diapers but not this one smells smell really good and i think because it's also bit bigger kids from 12 to 14 years old but yeah there's a lot of um cool games for them to play um we because we're going early morning there weren't any kids in there as yet because one they're either on an excursion two they're still sleeping so i was surprised the kids were not yet inside the arcade it probably wasn't even open to them as yet but we were able to get in so i just think they were either out on the excursion with family or because we were up so early they were not yet up because those kids are in the pool till midnight sometimes playing so they they, they esteem no sleep for them on this cruise So we got the Havana Cuba decor. Look at that. Hey. Hey. Cuba. And we're heading to our state room. Some more Cuban decor Havana. So 
so cool. We're gonna decorate our door next time. When you start decorating your door, you're official. Then look, that the pear goes over the rocks. There's some rocks right there where the dark waters are. And it extends into the blue part. How oh, cool. It's like really turquoise water. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but the water is pretty. This makes me want to go to um, Holland now. Like, okay. They're architectural designs and homes are a bit different it's cute oh no he fell in the wood ouch i know he heard it No, he fell on the wood. He slipped and fell on the plank. He must get to jump. He's swimming it off. He went and jumped anyway. Like, walk the plank, walk the plank. Let's go jump. <laughs> Many hours later. Well season. Did you eat your food? Did you eat your food? So we're actually in port until nine thirty. 